my name is Elias Barrantes. I'm the associate pastor in Grace Presbyterian Church in Vista. And I'm happy to be here with you today. And I want to read from the scriptures, Luke 5, verses 36 to 30, 39. He told them this parable. No one tears a, a patch from a new garment and sew it on an old one. If he does, he will have turned the new garment, and the patch from the new will no match the old. And no one pours new wine into a wine old hey, wine. Hey, brother. <laughs> hey, brother. How's brother? it going? I'm right here trying to read it up. Bible verse from the. I from heard the, you reading that, yeah. you know, and I, I'm part of. You and I are both part of a very traditional congregation person, That's for you know, sure. a traditional church, the, yeah. the Presbyterian Church. We have mm -hmm. so many traditions, and yeah. you're reading the scripture reminds me that we have to uh, change things to make the church relevant for the society and the world around us today. That's um, for sure. You know, it's not that we change the message. The mm -hmm. message stays the same. Yeah. You know, Jesus Christ, Lord mm -hmm. and Savior. Um, forgive us of our sins and give us uh, salvation yeah. you know if we believe in him that that will never change but how we package that may change mm -hmm. you know I'm I'm wearing kind of the traditional um, garment yeah. <laughs> of, of pastors for mm -hmm. many centuries yeah. in the Presbyterian Church but you know maybe today we need to um, you know, dress a little differently in church. What do you think? Uh, Hawaiian shirt sure is always good. In Southern California. In Southern that, California. That works pretty well, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, there's a time and place for both. I mean, we have a traditional service yeah. um, with traditional hymns, but we mm. also have um, a contemporary, contemporary service, mm -hmm. a Spanish service. Yeah. These things are all good, and they're trying, they're, they're ways that the church is trying to connect with uh, people today. You know, yeah, there's exactly. so many things that that churches get stuck in, I think. You know, mm -hmm. Worship styles, music is a yeah. big one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the times of worship, the roles of the pastors, mm -hmm. the, the committee structures, the location of the church, you know, yeah. where we build or if we build, you know, is it in a storefront or is it in a traditional building? There's all these things that churches struggle with today yeah. and um, are trying to find ways to be relevant in our community. That is that is why we as leaders, we need to introduce those kind of changes to our congregation and explain them that there is nothing bad and do something different to approach other people uh, um, around us. Yeah, and you know, we have a, a rich heritage mm -hmm. with the traditions of the church and yeah. there are are many people that love that heritage and we need to honor them but at the same time help connect with uh, new generations uh, mm -hmm. that may not uh, relate to the robes and, and choirs and hymns kind of um, way of doing church. And that is what does relate a lot with this passage that I'm reading, the patch and um, new wine new wine mm -hmm. and uh, it's, uh, the, the, the new wine and old wine skins yeah, yeah, yeah so. it's gonna bust if we try mm -hmm. to force people into the old wine skin mm -hmm. uh, it's just gonna bust up the the church some so so let's invite the people to come to church yes. and see new things happen yes, exactly. around us so we invite you to be part of our services every sunday at 9 a.m in a traditional service but also at 10 30 a.m uh, in a contemporary service in English and in Spanish. Yeah, so we hope to see you there. And until then, we hope that you have a blessed day and week ahead. God bless you.